All right, let's go to work. I want to talk to the families of America. Amen. And the world, because the family structure of America is broken. That's right. Talk back to me. Amen. The family structure of America is broken. Yeah. You have more single parents oh, yeah. raising children mm -hmm. than you have father and mother. Amen. You have many strong single women trying to raise the house on their own. Yeah. Where are the men? Oh, there are some good men, but where are these men? That's right. That's right. Many of you are in prison. Yeah. Many of you are on crack. Mm -hmm. Many of you are alcoholics. Mm -hmm. Many of you are gang bangers and dope dealers. Yeah. Many of you make your station stop to any woman you see and leave them with the baby and don't care how many it is. That's right. All this madness got to stop. Amen. Amen. Our young girls don't love themselves many today. Yeah. Become pregnant at 10 years old. Oh Lord. 12 years old. Amen. 15 years old mm -hmm. and don't care okay. old men in their 50s and 60s yeah. feel elated mm. feel good mm -hmm. so they can chase down a, thir a 30 something year old woman that's she right. make them feel young again that's right that's right mm. the fiber of the household have unraveled. Amen. Amen. Today, man quote, I'm the head. But where is this head? Where is he at? Man was made in the image of God. Oh, right. mm -hmm. To reflect God. Mm -hmm. God said, I've made man upright. 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 What do you mean upright? I made man upright so he can reflect my will, my law, my precept, my concept, my way of thinking. That's right. That's right. But instead of allowing God's way to come out of man, mm -hmm. man fall in love with money. That's right. Man fall in love with partying. Amen. Men now don't want to marry a woman. Men want to marry each other. Each other. That's right. Am I right? Amen. 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 That's right. So it shocks viewers when they see hundreds of men mm -hmm. in the truth of God because they're more used to seeing men in Islam. That's right. Not in church. That's right. Listen. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 3, we'll start at verse 1. Hear me, your father, O children. Give chapter and verse again. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 3. Ecclesiasticus, or the book of Sirach. Sirach. Chapter 3. And start reading at verse 1. All right. Hear me, your father, O children. Hear me, your father, O children. And do thereafter. Do what you hear. That ye may be safe. Amen. 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 This is good advice. Oh, yeah. God is talking. That's right. God is advising. That's right. What is wrong with society today when older people, they don't even want to instruct young people? Amen. They tell young people, oh, do what you want to do. Many of you mothers mm -hmm. allow your daughter's boyfriend to spend the night under your roof. That's right. So it's nothing wrong with it today. Many of you fathers mm -hmm. allow your 15 year old daughter to come in the next morning. Amen. Don't see nothing wrong with it. That's right. Don't ask no questions. That's true. Parents don't ask, can I go out? They tell the parents, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Amen. 
Amen. They don't ask, Mom, Dad, can I go out and see such and such a one, or can I go here? Can I? No, they tell them, I'm leaving. That's right. See, when you're under your parents' roof, you don't make plans. No. You ask, can plans be made? That's right. That's right. That's old school. Amen. This sick, modern society. Yes. Oh, yeah. No respect, no ethics, no home training. Old term is mother wit. That's, That's right. right. No mother wit. Yeah. They have what I call internet intellect. <laughs> That's right. The intelligence don't go no further than a flat screen. Amen. You unplug the screen, they die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they gone. That's true. My young men, young boys, let me talk to you first. Amen. Because McDonald's giving you big feet. Yes. That's right. Size 10 and size 12 and size 16 feet. That's the only thing on them growing. Amen. The mind haven't caught up yet. No. How do you define a man? What is a man? That's right. Think of this. Genesis. 126. Genesis chapter 1 and at verse 26. Listen. And God said. God. Now God knew what he wanted. That's right. So your definition of a man and God's definition of a man is not the same. Not the same. Most time you hear young men say, I'm a man. Most time they reckon reference to either their height they built or the way they can hold their hands or how many young girls they slept with. That's right. But listen at God's way of thinking. And God said, God said, let us make let man, us make man in our image. And our image. After our likeness. After our likeness. And let them have dominion let over the fish of the sea. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. And over the fowl of the air. Fowl of the air. And over the cattle. And over the cattle. And over all the earth. And over all the earth. And over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. All right. So God created so man. So God created man. Man. In his own image. In his own image. In the image of God. In the image of the master creator. Created he him. Uh -huh. Amen. Man. Hmm. You was made. Mm -hmm. To reflect. God. That's right. That's right. God made man in his image. In his image. Now, if I stand in front of the mirror, I see my reflection. That's right. My image. Mm -hmm. I see what? Myself. That's right. Mm -hmm. So if God made man mm -hmm. in his image, you're supposed to see God mm -hmm. in man. That's right. That's right. If I stand in a mirror, I don't see a whole lot of me. No. A bunch of us. That's right. One me, one image. That's why God made man. Because there's only one God. So as a result of it being one God, the image of God, only one can reflect him. That's right. That's right. So he made man. Made man. And when he made man, that certified, let all earth know there's one God. That's right. Because when Adam stood up, there was God's image. That's right. God's shape. God's form. Amen. God's fashion. Right. God's figure. That's right. That's right. God when created. I stand in the mirror, the image is obedient. That's true. To the real thing. That's right. That's wonderful. That's right. I sneeze. What you see in that mirror go through the same motion. If I jab, the image jab. That's right. Are you all right? I'm all right. The image is obedient. That's right. Now, within man, 
supposed to be the characteristics of God. God. Listen, when God made man, mm -hmm. God breathed into man. That's Let's right. talk about it. God made man. And the Lord Listen. God. In Genesis chapter 2, we're at verse 7. And the Lord God formed man. The Lord God formed man. Of the dust of the ground. Of the dust of the ground. And breathed into his and nostrils. And breathed into his nostrils. The breath of life. The breath of life. And man. And man. He came a living soul. He breathed into his nostril. Breath came. Right. See, the, the, the breath of your nostrils is the spirit of the Lord. That's right. God breathed into man. That's right. The breath of life. Mm -hmm. That wind. Yes, right. mm -hmm. That breath yeah. right. is a spirit. That's right. It's the spirit yeah. of the Lord. The spirit of God. Listen. In Job chapter 33 and at verse 4. I want to balance this out. Amen. All right. The spirit of God hath made me. The spirit of God hath made me. And the breath and the breath of the Almighty of the Almighty has given me life. Have given me life. So if the breath of the Almighty came from the Almighty into Adam, right? Then the characteristics of God. That's right. Came. That's right. Into Adam. That's right. This is why Adam demonstrated perfection. Yes, yes he did. Yes, sir. Flawless. That's right. He had a flawless behavior. That's right. No error. No error. No spot. Right. No blunder. Mm -hmm. No failure. Yeah. Right. No lie. That's no right. mistake. That's right. That's right. Because when God came into him, the spirit of perfection mm. came into him. That's right. See, God made man upright, not only for him to stand physically upright, mm -hmm. but that he have an upright spirit. That's right. You understand? That's right. He have an upright character. Mm -hmm. He have an upright mind. Amen. He have an upright behavior. That's right. And God formed man. Glory to God. In the book of Joshua chapter 1, we'll start at verse 1. All right. And God said, let us make man in our image. God said, let us make man in our image. After our likeness. After our likeness. And God created man in his own image. Yes. And God formed man. God formed man. From the ground. From the ground. And he blew into his nostrils. He blew into his nostrils. The breath of life. The breath of life. And Hold it. Mm -hmm. Blew into his nostrils. You know, if you're unconscious, that's right, and someone give you mouth, that's right, to mouth, mm -hmm. you know, Amen. part of their spirit coming you, that's right, because obviously you don't have enough in you, that's right, to make you live like you should, that's right. So somebody come with wind in them, mm -hmm. mouth to mouth, Amen, and then they working on you. You need wind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got earth and wind That's right. working on you. That's right. Then motion take place. Right. That's right. God breathed into Adam. Mm -hmm. God stepped into Adam. Mm. God came into Adam. That's right. And then God behold mm -hmm. his image. That's right. So Adam behavior was simply the behavior of God. That's right. Adam's behavior was the behavior of God. Adam's motion was the motion of God. That's right. Adam's movement was the movement of God. God. Amen. Because when God came into Adam, why do you think Jesus is called the second Adam? Second Adam. That's right. Because the spirit took on yes, mm -hmm. flesh. That's right. He put it on. That's right. And by putting it on, it gave the flesh its movement. That's right. When the spirit stepped into Adam, Adam took on mm -hmm. the characteristics of God. Amen. That's right. And now he was fully cooperative, fully cooperative. with the spirit that was in him. That's right. What happened to Adam? What, what happened? Hmm. The same thing that happened to us. That's right. That's right. Another, spirit Another spirit came on the scene. That's right. Another spirit came.
and affect humanity. Yes, it did. It knocked Adam down. He fell. That's right. It is written, our first father has sinned. Sin. So as a result of Adam's fall, man been falling ever since. Ever since. The whole family of the world. That's right. Have fallen. Oh, thou Adam. Oh, the book says. In the book of 2nd Esther, chapter 7 and verse 48. What is it? Oh, thou Adam. Oh, thou Adam. What hast thou done? What have you done? What have you For though it was thou that sinned. It was you that sinned. Thou art not fallen alone. You ain't fallen by yourself. But we all, all that come of thee. Amen. Because of Adam. Amen. Look at the world. That's right. Because of Adam. That's right. Look at America. Amen. Because of Adam. Amen. Look at the world. Look at the way they think. Look at the way they act. Look at church people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Church people. That's churches are no longer churches. Mm -hmm. They're clubs with a cross. That's all. That's all. Adam is in the pulpit. Jesus ain't there. Right. Amen. Adam is there. That's right. That's true. Are you listening? Amen. Oh, Adam. What hast thou done? What have you done? For though it was thou that it sinned. It was you that sinned. Thou art not fallen alone. You didn't fall by yourself. But we all that come of thee. Domino effect. Yep. Amen. What else? For what profit is it unto us, if there be promised at us an immortal time, whereas we have done the works that bring death? If you look at the homes of America, mm -hmm. the drinking, the smoking, mm -hmm. the partying, many of you are watching me now, besides being thankful and serving God mm -hmm. for the new year, you were somewhere partying. That's true. Toasting champagne. Amen. You were somewhere making a baby by someone that ain't your husband. That's right. You were somewhere on crack. That's, that's right. Somewhere smoking a joint. Mm -hmm. Somewhere drunk. drunk. Amen. It's amazing how people get disgusted with this kind of preaching. Yes, they do. But if you tell them how to be prosperous in money making, mm -hmm. they say the Lord is good. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Money is not going to save you. No, no. Wealth is not going to save you. Mm -hmm. The house of your dream, that's not going to save you. That's right. America is in need of God. That's right. That's it. The preachers today have took God and kicked him out of the church. Amen. Money took the place Money. of God. That's right. Wealth took the place of God. That's right. My Lord. The word of God says what? For what profit is it unto us, if there be promised us an immortal time? And whereas we have done the works that bring death. We have done the works. What good is wanting eternal life if the works that we've done aren't us eternal destruction? Death. That, that's right. So look at the homes now. You that are watching me, I want to take my time and have a new year chat with you. Amen. Gather around the radio mm -hmm. and also the television yes. and the internet. Mm -hmm. Get your children. Right. Tell them to turn off their PSPs and their games and whatnot. Get them around the television and let them watch a program that's designed for their development. That's right. That's right. Education is good. Mm -hmm. Use properly. Amen. Yes, young people, you should get a proper education. Master the degrees of the errors that you want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Don't be lazy. Amen. Young men, back to you. Amen. You are written. He called the young men because they're what? Strong. My young men today. Mm -hmm. Today we have a young, lazy generation. That's right. I mean very lazy. That's right. You want money, but you don't want to work. Yeah. <laughs> and if you do chores around the house, you think for some strange reason, your parents should give you money. You don't like to pay you. That's right. No, they don't owe you nothing. You owe them. Amen. 
Amen. Now you parents, many of you are part of the problem. That's right. Some of you help your children for being lazy. Mm -hmm. They lay around all day. all day. Trash falling all on the floor. That's right. Clothes everywhere. That's, That's right. right. Some of you parents don't say nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the way boys are. <laughs> I came up old school. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Make your bed. That's right. When I was a little boy learning how to wash, my father did the old wash test. <laughs> father had rough hands, you know. <laughs> if I came out the tub and he felt I wasn't in there long enough, he'd grab my arm <laughs> and take that callous, rough thumb and rub my wrist <laughs> and if my skin backslide <laughs> you know <laughs> if my skin backslide Amen. it was time to take me to the war <laughs> I had to go back to the water who was my father instilling in me how to be clean from head to toe that's right when y'all was a young man coming up, sometimes my father was staying up back, make sure. No, you missed the spot. Go back. Go back. Why? He knew when I come out the tub, my whole body should have got wet. That's right. That's right. Not wet spots. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Not wet spots. That's right. That's right. Your whole body. A good father. Oh, yeah. Old school ain't no such thing. There are places on your body you can't reach. See, that's modern talk. That's right. That don't exist in old school. No. no. Old school show you how to use a rag. That's right. You know, modern term you call it a washcloth. <laughs> uh, give me the washcloth. Old school, give me the rag. <laughs> <laughs> Get that rag. Get that rag. Get rag. Yo, you come along later. Man, I, I have a washcloth. <laughs> See, old school don't believe in commercial washing. No, That's right. I want to take it home now. <laughs> <laughs> what is commercial washing? You know what you see on TV when they advertise Dove or Irie? You know they take the soap and just... Washing. That's entertaining. Amen. You can't take a whole bar and get it in. Amen. <laughs> you need to make. You gotta go to old school. Get a rag. That's right. Get a rag. Something that you can open up. Open up. <laughs> Am I right? Go ahead. Put the soap in the rag. Put it in there. That's where my father raised me. That's right. I remember days that man was in that bathroom. When he tested my skin, and my skin was contrary to the will. He got that rag after he popped me. Pile. Give me that rag. I'm going to put soap on it for you. For you. And you know when father wash you, his hands is rough. Your body be all over the place. <laughs> you know, father be pushing you, you be. He be like, ow. <laughs> you tell father that hurt. He say, be still. You be. <laughs> Am I right, man? Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. Who Glory to God. That's right. We're going to have a down to earth chat. Amen. A family talk. A family talk. My young men. That's it. You don't go spraying cologne on yourself and you ain't washed. No way. That's right. That's a chemical imbalance. That's right. That's right. Don't mix. Mm -hmm. You can't get sweet and bitter water <laughs> from the same fountain. 
may sound funny, but this is good old fashioned teaching. teaching that's right. And this is the kind of teaching that people frown at today because today you don't hear it. You don't hear it, not even in homes. Not, you don't hardly hear nothing in homes. That's right. But rap music. That's right. And a vibration of windows. Amen. You young men. Amen. You must be a clean young man. That's right. You get a certain age, your mother or your father should never have to tell you, get in the tub. No, no. Never. You should not wait till there's a cloud <laughs> over you. That's right. You shouldn't wait till everybody know you coming. Amen. That's right. It is not the 1806 just bathe on Saturday. No, no. Or then take a bath when it's a special occasion. That's right. Once a week. Once a week. Every other day. Every three days. Right. Every four days. No. no. You keep your body clean yeah. from head to toe every day. Every day. Are you listening, young men? Amen. Amen. Hmm. Are you listening? That's right. One scripture says, wash you. Wash you. Make you, Make you clean. Mm -hmm. So when you got a father in the house, the job of the father mm -hmm. is to guide the young man and make sure he's clean. That's right. Because a lot of times he's going to learn his dirtiness from you if you're dirty. Right. That's right. He's wondering why you're telling him to wash and you won't. Uh-huh. Hmm. Are you listening? That's right. So when you start growing up, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, don't wait for your mother to come behind you. No. To pick up your clothes. That's right. Don't wait for your mother to come behind you to make up your bed. Amen. When I was 13 or 14, my mother taught me how to do my own laundry. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So I remember when I first put my laundry in there, I was excited. Hmm. Back, I think I was younger than that, maybe 11 or 12. Hmm. I remember putting my colored clothes in the washing machine and all I remember was seeing her use, seeing her use bleach. Hmm. I really didn't pay attention how she used it. Hmm. You know, it's what you, know, you put your water in first. Mm -hmm. I didn't do that. My water was running. You know, and I just poured the bleach on top of the colored clothes. <laughs> Let the lid close and was very happy and proud of myself. <laughs> I thought I was on my way. The machine shook and washed. And I wonder what happened. <laughs> so when I showed it to my mother, she said, you wasn't paying close attention. Mm. So then she broke it down. So I wouldn't error. Right. The objective of parents, your objective supposed to be your as a teacher and a guide to your children. That's right. The children are thinkers sometimes. Mm -hmm. The job of the parent is to guide their mind while they're in the process of thinking. That's right. So they don't think the wrong way and mislead themselves. That's right. So sometimes you say, oh, my mama too hard, my daddy too hard. That ain't the problem. No. You need guidance. That's right. And sometimes you seek guidance from the wrong oh, place, please. from the wrong person. Amen. You are too busy trying to be like your friend. Right. So you want to curse like him. Like him. That's you want right. your pants hanging down on your behind like him. That's right. You want to smoke like him. Mm -hmm. You want to disrespect young girls and smack them on their behind as they walk the hallways of school like your friend. Amen. Remember that young girl is somebody's daughter. Amen. How would you like it if someone smacked your sister on her behind? That's right. That's right. Amen. Fathers mm -hmm. are teachers mm -hmm. of their sons. That's right. But sometimes you can teach your son the wrong thing without sitting him down with a person-to-person -person lesson. That's right. 
by your behavior. How can you chastise your child for cussing when you cussing your wife out? Amen. Amen. How you gonna chastise your son for beating up a girl when he watch you beat up his mama? Right. Many times young people are products of the environment. God want us to go back to Adam's original state, holy. That's right. When he made man in his image, he intended for man to reflect him. You young men today, you stand out on the corners, mm -hmm. it can be 30 below zero. Mm -hmm. They don't even feel it. Yes, sir. Got a coat with a hood and shorts on. That's right. <laughs> you can raise your children right, but when they become older and leave home, they're on their own. But you've done your job. That's right. You know, it is said that the reason why the prisons are filled today is because the parents went to sleep on the job. That's true in some cases, not all. Many of the parents was on the job and told the sons and daughters what to do and what not to do and laid good groundwork for them. Mm -hmm. But as they got older and became young men and young women, they made decisions that now they regret. That's right. If your mother It's telling you, young man, mm -hmm. stay away from that girl. Mm -hmm. Stay away from that girl. Right. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. She's too fast, mm -hmm. too fresh. Don't be. Oh, ma! That's right. <laughs> she see more than you see. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. My son. Asked me, he said, you know, well, when I come to school, you know, I, you know the, some of the friends I got, we, you know, I just shake the guy's hand and some of the young girls, you know, I would just hug them, you know, see how they doing. He said, well, you advise me not to, he just asked me that uh, early in the week. He said, you advise me not to do that? I said, yes. Don't hug them. Right. Don't hug them. Shake their hand. Mm -hmm. At a distance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? Young people are wicked. Amen. They say you touched them in a manner that you ain't never did. That's true. Next thing you know, principal got you down in the office, want to suspend you, That's right. embarrassing your parents because a young girl don't know how to accept rejection. You refuse to hug her, and, and right away, oh, he touched me here. And what could you say if you hugging her? Because people, all oh, they, your friends is right outside. That's right. Just shake the hand. Shake the hand. <laughs> Are you listening? That's right. Well, Pastor Dennis, oh man, she may think I'm a punk or something. I don't care what they think. Amen. You don't go to school to prove something to your peers. You got to prove to yourself to be able to follow instructions of your parents. You owe your parents. That's right. You get straight A's, you owe your parents that. That's right. You don't owe your parents failure. Right. You don't owe your parents E's. You don't owe your parents F's. Mm -hmm. You owe your parents success. Yes. You owe them that. Amen. And you owe it to yourself. That's right. You owe it to yourself not to be lazy. Mm -hmm. You're Why do you think school is in the morning so early? Yeah. It's dress rehearsal how they get up to go to work. Right. Amen. That's what it is. It's dress rehearsal Amen. how they get up and go to work. Mm -hmm. You can't hold no job laying around. Huh. No, you won't. You 15 and 16 and want to work? Mm -hmm. Whatever jobs will have you at the age, take it. Take it. Who are you to say, oh, that's the gravy. You got to work at McDonald's, flip the burger. That's right. What is it doing? It teach you how to follow instructions. That's right. The manager may stand over you. Mm -hmm. No, you don't do it that way. No need to get irritated. 
He's your teacher. That's right. And then think further than the burger. That's think right. of owning your own business one day. If you don't have a vision for yourself, That's right. how do you expect for somebody else to have a vision for you? That's right. That's why I'm adamant about the young children. In any area of life, you owe your parents and you owe it to yourself not to be lazy. Not to be lazy. Amen. The scripture says how a slowful brother is a waste. Wasteful brother. That's right. Why do you think some teachers tell you? When you go to school and you act them, they tell you, look, I got my education. Mm -hmm. You know what they're telling you? You can act like a fool all you want. Mm -hmm. I already work. That's right. The teacher's telling you, I got a paycheck if you don't act right. <laughs> I got a paycheck if you don't come to class. Come. That's right. So young boys. That's right. You got to evaluate your intelligence and see do you have leadership skills or are you nothing but a follower with the crowd. Right. So this is how you evaluate self. When you get a crowd of ignorant, untamed, barbaric young boys mm -hmm. who can lure you into stupidity. Amen. You don't have leadership skills. You lack the ability to be a seasoned thinker. That's right. That's right. No young brute should be able to lure you to rob. Right. There was a case that happened here in Philadelphia uh, last year. Mm -hmm. Nine-year-old girl raped, mm -hmm. gang raped by four boys. My Lord. And the youngest boy was 14. My Lord. What is it? What is it? They get him four little kids my lord and make three of them agree to hold a girl down mm. and rape her my lord who would get upset with this preaching but a pervert pervert amen amen you young boys no one should be able to lure you into committing crime that's right into stealing that's right let them call you a punk yeah. let them call you a sissy at least you're not in jail. Amen. Amen. You're not a punk or a sissy because you don't agree to commit a crime. That's right. You're intelligent. Amen. See, you're, you're intelligent. That's right. That's what that is. Yeah. You're intelligent. Yeah. My son of sinners entice thee. Listen. In Proverbs chapter 1 and at verse 10. Oh, this is good home teaching. Amen. Give chapter and verse again. Proverbs chapter 1 and at verse 10. Yes. My son of sinners entice thee. My son, young boys. Yes. If sinners, your school friends or neighborhood friends. Entice thee. Entice thee. Consent thou not. Don't go. If they say, if they say, come with us, come with us, let us lay wait for blood, let's lay wait for blood, let's do something, let's plot, let's scheme, let's rob, let's rape. That's right. Let us lurk privately, let's lurk privately for the innocent without cause. Amen. It's all in the book, all in here. That's right. So the young boys today want to wear afros. Mm -hmm. Stick a pick in their head. Pick have their pants hanging down. That's right. Put a grill on their mouth, gold teeth everywhere. Right. Finger right. rings everywhere. Mm -hmm. Want to be like a rapper. That's right. See, today rappers and basketball players are role models for them. That's right. What do you mean? They want to make a quick buck. That's mm -hmm. right. They want to drive the Bentley, yeah. mm -hmm. drive the Rolls Royce Phantom, yeah. drive the Ferrari, yeah. so they can be on TV on cribs. <laughs> yes, they want to be on cribs. That's your vision. That's true. Think. You mean to tell me your goal in life is a Bentley? Bentley. Your goal in life. It's a big house. Come on, man. You think success is determined 
by what you own, you're sadly mistaken. mistaken. The greatest success That's right. is when I have humbled myself and obeyed God. That's it. That God may create me to be a man in the world, but not a man of the world. That's right. That's right. Hmm. When you're in school, pay attention. Don't let your friends be talking to you. That's right. When a teacher is talking, you don't be writing love letters. That's right. To some fast girl. Are you listening to me? Amen. Young girl, wink her eye at you. Don't wink back. She don't wink her eye before she met you. You just another one to wink at. That's it. Don't even throw your arms around a girl. That's right. That's right. That's old school teaching. Yeah. Are you listening? Amen. Don't let no girl lean up on you in school. Amen. Lean up on you against the school wall. Amen. Lean up on you against the locker. No. Amen. All that girl got to do is say, he raped me. That's right. They're going to throw you right in jail. Amen. There's a lot of innocent men in jail. Yeah. Because a woman lied on them. Amen. Because she was vindictive. That's right. Want to get back at them. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. Amen. Young boys, be clean, be courteous, be respectful, be obedient. That's right. Amen. Be obedient and respectful to those that have authority over you and let God be your first priority. That's right. Without God, God is the true definition of life. Without God, you don't have a proper life. No. Some of you young fellas watching me. Yeah. You back talk your father. Mm -hmm. Raise your voice at your mother. Your mother. Man, we didn't even imagine doing such. No, we didn't. If our voice got slightly too loud, mm -hmm. parents had a way of changing your volume. That's right. Turned you down. That's right. Oh, yeah. We had to speak at a certain tone when we talked to father, when we talked to mother. Even if we thought our tone was correct, that's irrelevant. When a parent feels as though the tone is incorrect, right. you better listen. That's right. When my father asked me a question, yes, sir. when I answered him, if he felt as though his tone, the tone was incorrect, I heard him come out the room. You talking to me? <laughs> right away. <laughs> I humbled myself. That's huh? right. That's right. I, uh, well, I understood and respect the authority that he had. I wasn't ignorant. What? Who are you talking about? What? Because if I would say what, like I didn't know what I was talking about, or like I didn't know what he was talking about, I got a beating. You know why? I was taught. Right. So he knew I knew better. Yeah. And just to say, Whoa, that was an insult. Yeah. He took it as, oh, you trying to make me look stupid now, huh? That's right. That's right. You know what I'm coming out in the hallway for. That's right. That's right. When your parents call you, mm -hmm. you don't answer them, what? No. No, no. It's yes, ma'am, or no, ma'am, or yes, sir, or no, sir. You don't answer, what? What's the matter with you? That's right. You parents, get on the ball. Amen. And teach your house. That's right. That's right. Amen. The word of God says what? For the Lord has, for the Lord has given the Father honor over the children. Do you hear that? Back in the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 3 and at verse 2. There should never... Be an argument mm -hmm. between mother and father mm -hmm. when it comes down to the child being obedient. That's right. What I mean is this. 
if the mother is trying to instruct the child right, mm -hmm. then why in the world the father trying to undo the good the mother done? That's, doing. That's right. If the father instruct the child right, why would the mother try to undo the good that the father done? Amen. You fathers, Amen. take care of your children. Take care of your children. Are, you, are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. No mother should have to argue. No way. With the father of her children. No, no. About taking care of what's yours. No. Mm -mm. Handle your business. Or you're better off not having none. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. You see why they want this off there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. What did God says? What? For the Lord has given the Father honor over the children. The Lord has given the Father honor over the children. And has confirmed the authority of the mother over the sons. Hmm. The mother, she got authority. She's not a doormat. That's right. She's not a slave. No. She ain't someone that's just to make up bed and wash dishes and wash your clothes. That's right. That's right. If father's around or father not around, mm -hmm. son, you got to hear your mother. Amen. Are you listening, young man? Amen. That's right. Don't think because you're getting older. Mm -hmm. That's lead way to disrespect your mother. That's right. That's right. When your son rise up, then lay him down. And down. Did you hear what I said? That's right. See, many of you parents, you're scared of chastising your children. Yeah. You politicians that are watching me. Amen. Here in America, mm -hmm. you weak, spineless lowlifes Amen. that pass bill to make it law. Mm -hmm. You gonna arrest parents arrest for chastising their children? Arrest I'm not talking about a parent that'll try to kill their child. No. no. I'm talking about a parent that reprimand their child. Mm -hmm. Tell them, look, you got to be in the house by 10 o'clock. Right. You rise up at mother and rise up at father. Hmm. And ain't no child should be in the mother's face. No. Listen, you better back off. No, no. No. No way. Am I right, men? That's right. All oh, talk to me. Amen. Amen. Should not be a shoving match between father and son. No, no. When father tell you something or when mother tell you something, you don't grumble. That's right. That's right. You shut your mouth. That's right. God promised you long life on one law. Honor your father and your mother. That's it. That's right. Didn't say you're gonna have a long life if you get a degree. No. God didn't say you have a long life if you finish college. No, no. God didn't say you have a long life if you go to work. No. All that is good, no. but it ain't good enough. That's right. A college degree without home sense is no good. No good. College don't prepare you for life. Good sense do. Amen. That's right. College teach you how to make money. That's it. But if I don't have good sense, I won't even know how to spend the money after I make it. That's right. Well, I want to make money. But if you're not taught how to utilize your mind, That's it. after you make the money, as soon as the money touch your hand, it's going to go. So mama started teaching you when you were a child. She give you some money, then give your bank. Give your old pickle jar. Yeah. Still got the sin in it. Yeah. Smell like a jar full of vinegar. <laughs> Old school. Take a pliers or a hammer or something. Put a knock a hole in the lid. That's right. Give you change. You run, throw it in the jar. You'd be so happy because you see it piling up. See, when I was coming up, you asked for a quarter, 50 cent, whatnot. Now, children ask for big money. Daddy, can I have $50? <laughs> Daddy can have a hundred dollars. That's right. I remember what my father used to say was, it was eight of us. My father used to say to us, listen, you must think I'm made out of money. Because most times that's what children think. When they see daddy or mommy, right away, it's an equation. Daddy plus mommy equal money. Money, that's right. 
Automatic. Think of this, children. Why should your parents do anything for you when you refuse to be obedient? Why should they, why should they uh, buy you that jacket? Yeah. Buy you that game? And yet when they tell you to do chores around the house, you're not obedient. That's right. I even tell my boys, I got four boys. You know your job. When I come in this house, coming back from out the country, mm -hmm. I shouldn't have to tell you take out the trash. Your mother ain't taking out no trash. Your mother should not empty one trash can. Your mother's not supposed to be taking bags of trash outside. Amen. And you sitting somewhere watching Donald Duck. Yeah. <laughs> watching Transformers. That's right. Because it's more than meets your eyes. That's right. That's the truth of it. Amen. You see trash cans full. You see something fell on the floor because no more can get in it. Yeah, right. Get your lazy behinds up. Right. I'm talking to all you young boys. Amen. You parents, Amen. give your children chores. That's right. That's right. You children, when your parents give you chores and they come back from, from work, yeah. those chores should be done. Yeah. When you don't do it, you have proven you're irresponsible. You can't do something as simple as make your bed, get your clothes up, clean the bathroom, empty the trash, fold your clothes. But then always want this, always want that. Then when a the parent say, no, you, oh, mom, when my father told me to do something, dragging. I couldn't do no. Do that. Oh, no. My father would be like, You dragging? <laughs> you dragging your feet? Mm. That's right. Today, the disrespect in children. You tell them something after the conversation is over. When it's done, they got the nerve. That's right. That very physical act mm -hmm. is blatant disrespect. Amen. See, it didn't matter to our mother and father that we were teenagers. They knew as long as we're under that roof, you're going to respect us. You're going to obey us, or we're going to beat you behind. That's right. That's old school. Amen. The government of America. You evaluate these senators, mm -hmm. these congressmen, mm -hmm. who don't want you to test to test out their child, your child. Mm -hmm. Look at their household. House. How backward and upside down it is. That's right. Children stay out all night. Yeah. Something is wrong with you when you don't want your children to go party. Mm -hmm. They say, oh, that religion is too tight. No, that religion is right. That's right. That's right. It's right. That's right. Problem is, you congressmen and you senators, mm -hmm. you're too loose. Mm -hmm. You're irresponsible fathers. Right. Any time you don't want them to just go in the corner and stand, that don't work today. That don't work. No. You tell your child, go in the corner and stand. Our child just go in the corner and hear music all in his head. <laughs> he ain't paying you no mind. That's right. That's right. Wag on it. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. The purpose of having chores. Your parents is teaching you how to be responsible. That's right. The purpose of having the curfew, a time set when they come in. The parents are teaching you responsibility. Amen. See, when you can't respect the curfew or the chores to be done at home, then why should your parents trust you with larger things? That's right. Why should I give you the keys to the car when you can't even come home by foot? 
Amen. Now do you understand? Amen. My oldest son will be 17 this year. My next oldest son will be 16. Wow, these cats are getting big, man. My third oldest son will be 14. My oldest daughter will be 20. My next daughter will be 18. My youngest daughter will be 13 this year. Brother Malcolm will be 11. Two years from a teenager. He like a midget. <laughs> to all of our children in the church and that are watching, if you can't even come in the house on time, see a lot of time the mother and father is just setting the curfew to try you. Sometimes they don't mind you stand out a little longer, but they're trying you. They see, can you respect what they say? Right. And when you can't even come in on time by foot, yeah. why in the world do you expect for them to even buy you a car? Right. You are riding by the house. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? That's right. I see you children. The parents don't expect for you to think like them because you're not a parent. So right away you feel as though, oh, they just overprotective. They old fashioned. They this. Yeah, believe me. The parents done said the same thing when they was your age. You may end up getting in the wrong friend's car. Right. And it's the last car you step in. Last Your last ride. There's a lot of people. Before 2010 came in, That's at the last car, some young man and some young girl got in. That's right. They was carried out without life. Right. One of the most difficult things for young people to do is simply listen. Read quick. Come on, son. Everybody all right? Yes, sir. Yes. For, for the Lord has given the father honor over the children and has confirmed the authority of the mother over the son. Yes. Whoso honoreth his father maketh an atonement for his sin. You hear that? Mm -hmm. If you want God to forgive you of your sins, respect your pop. That's right. Amen. You may disagree with him, but don't back talk him. That's right. Amen. Let me give you wisdom. Your father may be 50 or 55, 55. The son, hey, may be 23 or 25. But you don't come to your father like you some man. That's right. No, you don't let your age go through your head. That's right. Your age become heroin. You snork in 25. No, you come to your father like you his son that's right don't ever throw your age in your daddy's face what is that to him amen i'm 25 i'm 20 shut up that's right how you think you got that age amen you telling your father i'm this shut your mouth that's right you may not live to see the next year. What you bragging about your little timid age? You've been here on the earth 15 years, 18 years, 21 years. You still green. Still green. You got the age, but you ain't got the maturity of the mind. That's right. Your mind got to catch up with your developed body. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. Got the age, but we ain't got no mind. It's an attic up here that's vacant. Nothing is in the box. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Amen. What if God says what? Whoso honoreth his father, whoever honor his father, maketh an atonement for his sins. atonement for his sins. And he that honoreth his mother, he that honoreth his mother, is as one that layeth up treasure. Don't never talk back to your mother. That's right. Amen. 
You disagree with her? Close your mouth. Amen. Don't butt in while she's talking. You ask her. Let me speak. In fact, when your mother is talking or your father is chastising you, the parents should never have to tell the child, shut your mouth. Because it should be already shut. That's right. Let me say it again. That's right. When your mother chastising you or your father chastising you, they should never have to tell you, shut your mouth, be quiet. You talk too much. You should be already quiet. Amen. And then ask them, can I have something to say? That's right. You don't just butt in. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's what make a lot of children get into a lot of things that they don't see. Right. God allowed to happen as an act of punishment for your disrespect. That's right. You plan to be prosperous and have all this stuff. God Almighty will step in and make you reap what you sow. That's true. You gotta watch me. That's right. You young people. That's right. Be careful how you treat your parents. You may get on your own and can't make it. All of a sudden, you got to go back home with your bag of clothes. Right. But you are so disrespectful and problematic to your mother and father, they don't want you in their house. That's right. Let me tell you something. Every parent is not proud to say, that's my son. Amen. Or that's my daughter. No. Oh, no. See, there's a sense of pride. That's my son. That's my daughter. That's right. And there's a sense of disgust. I don't want no one to know. That's my son. Why? They are an embarrassment. They make the parents ashamed. That's true. Well told. That's true. Why? They know better. But they act like animals. Amen. You children, you owe your parents. Amen. You get a job, give your parents some money. Your mama. Most time, daddy ain't going on if he got sense. That's right. You're not careful, dad, the parents, the daddy, the day they'll steal the children's money. They'll break in the child's piggy bank. <laughs> Empty it all out, bank just rattling. <laughs> Get a job, young boy. Get some money to your mother. That's right. Well, I ain't got much. That's all right. That's okay. I want to teach you something. Oh, yeah. If you get a check for only thirty-five dollars, right. get some money to your mother. Right. Don't even grumble. That's right. That's right. If it wasn't from your mother, you wouldn't be here. Right. Right. Your mother deserves your your whole check okay. and everything else. That's right. Amen. I want to give your old school yeah. sense. That's See, right. some young men didn't have a father. That's right. And that's why many of them are the way they are. They are late bloomers. They learn late. Right. Some ain't never had no father in their life. And this kind of teaching, they never had. Right. So they learned as they went on. That's right. But they made a lot of mistakes. Oh, yeah. And because some men did not have a father, it made some of them better fathers. Yeah. Right. It, it, it affects one different ways. That's right. That's right. That's true. Some concluded, I refuse to allow my son to be deprived of what I was deprived of. Amen. That don't mean buy you cars and all that. That means sit you down and teach you Amen. how to be respectable and honor. Listen. Honor and respect go further than money. Yes, sir. Always remember that. That's right. That's right. Honor and respect goes further than money. Let me teach you something. You can be a millionaire and be so trifling. Trifling. Man, not even business people want your money. That's true. It's proven. Look at these stars. That's true. They get this all jacked up track record. What happened? All these sponsors now, they lose them. That's right. Why? They don't want that. The sponsors don't want that reflection on them. That's right. What do they want? A standard. That's right. A certain standard in character. That's right. That's true. This is what we're trying to teach you. You want a certain standard in character. You don't want to approach young girls like the boys in the street. All up on her in the street, smacking her on her behind. 
Girl, want to be forward? You young girls, don't you be forward out here. Right. Flirting in these young boys' faces. Amen. Be a young lady. That's right. That's right. Don't be no fast young girl putting up hood signs. What's up? <laughs> don't know whether you a tomboy or a boy or a girl. Right. What's up? I mean, what's that? You need surgery? <laughs> Did something become dislocated? No. Listen, there's baby, girl, woman, lady. Yeah. Are you listening? Baby, girl, woman, lady. Baby, in the stage of training. Girl, still in training. Woman, in development. Mm -hmm. Lady, character. Yeah. 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 This is good. Yes. Amen. Society is not equal when it comes to the woman. The woman can be sharp, wise, smart, have a higher degree than the man. And the man will get a bigger check. That's right. And the woman may work harder. You men beat your wives and all that stuff. And yet, in most cases, the woman is the fiber that hold that entire house together. That's right. But many of you sit out and drink and get drunk and smoke and hang in bars and shoot pole. Amen. Then you want to bring your drunken behind home Amen. and beat your wife. That's right. You're not fit to have a wife. Amen. Talk to me. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. You don't get your wife pregnant to bounce upon your daughter. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The houses of America fall apart. John the Apostle said it this way in the book of Revelation. Babylon is fallen. Has fallen. He says Babylon has become a habitation of dragons, foul birds, and every unclean thing. That's America. Amen. That's America. America is Babylon. That's right. Everything goes. Everything and anything goes. Amen. No respect for God, no respect for parents, no respect for authority, no respect for themselves. That's true. Baby, girl, woman, lady. So, your character develops, young sister. But the lesson must begin at home. Amen. You ain't got to go to school to learn etiquette. No, no. You should get that from home. home. Good old fashioned mother wit. That's right. To teach you how to sit, yes, how not to sit, That's right. how to talk, yep. what kind of man not to talk to, yeah. what kind of man to beware of, right. what kind of man to look out for, right. how not to be fast, right. not to be forward, That's right. not to be flirtatious. How to dress your body, how to respect your body, Amen. how to how to demand respect when someone tries to disrespect you. That's right. Man. You can't demand respect from some boy, and you always flirtatious. Amen. Some boy can walk up to you and score and throw his arm around your neck and got his lips on your face. Another boy. Another boy. Another, what's the matter with you? A handshake is good enough. Amen. Imagine a young girl got a problem because I tell her, look, stop letting boys hug on you. Yeah. 
And they would say today, well, listen, Pastor Jenny, you old-fashioned. I mean, that's the way we do it now. I know it. That's why this is going on. That's right. Bunch of babies having babies. That's right. And the type of generation of fathers today, they ain't no fathers. Oh, no. They're just men that love the womb. Right. If you offer it up, they'll knock it up. Right. But they don't want to be your father. That's right. To no child. That's right. You offer up free breasts. Come on, free behind. Come on. Go ahead. Bro. Free leg. Go ahead. Free. Come on. And you become a bus stop. Go ahead. For her among us. That's right. Come on. Some of you mothers ain't no better. Boys are on you like ticks on dogs. Amen. Your boyfriend is with your daughter. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, right. take God. That's why they want this off the air. Amen. The pregnancy of America from single young girls got to stop. But until you love yourself, yeah. until you respect yourself yeah. and realize there's more to you than breasts, That's right. behind, legs, a butt canal. Talk right. to me. Talk yeah. back to me. Yeah. You've got to love yourself. There's more to you yes, than your chest, yes, than your behind and your legs. That's the only thing you got to offer, man. You ain't got nothing to offer. Him. If you got to use your body to keep a man, what's going to happen if something happened to you? That's right. Suppose, suppose, suppose you have a stroke. Suppose you get sick. He want to go about business and you're like, look, I... I don't feel like being bothered. Oh, you don't feel like being bothered? That's all right. I'm going to get me some somewhere. That's right. He's That's telling right. you he don't give two cents about you. Amen. He's in it for the body. That's right. You want to be respect for your mind. Amen. The wisdom and the knowledge of God in your mind and your heart. That's right. Amen. Man, respect you because you got chess? Isn't that stupid? stupid. He respect me because you out here and here. You are more than flesh. Don't let no man degrade you that's and right. make you think that's all you are. That's right. That's right. Amen. You don't want to ever marry a man. That's right. The only thing you are to him is a piece of meat. That's right. What about your mind? That's right. That's right. Come on. Don't you all is empty meat. That's right. I got a mind. I got intelligence. But see, you young girls, you're green. These young cats, these guys don't care because you got intelligence. Because they know you're green. So they see your body developing. And he's up on his branch looking. He looking. That's right. Like a buzzard. That's right. And he see you out there talking. And that buzzer looking. Talk to the other buzzer. That's right. So you know, he's circling you. Why? He see a caucus. That's right. So now he gonna sweet talk you. And you feel honored because some cat huh. older than you yeah. buy you something. And you like, no, no, that's all right. I, I don't want it. That's okay. I expect for him to take you serious and you grinning. 
I don't want it. I said, okay, I don't want it. I don't, I don't want it. What's the matter with you? They ain't gonna take you serious. No, they won't. No, they won't. And he know you don't mean it. So what he do? He gonna buy you that name brand bag. That Gucci or what's another one? David Duke? <laughs> Louis Vuitton? <laughs> Give you that bag. And you're like, oh. what is the objective? Let me tell you good, rough, and hard. Yeah. Because he don't respect you. Mm -hmm. His objective is to gain your confidence. Right. So he can buy his way into your panties. Yeah. Amen. He want to buy his way into your bra and into your panties. That's right. You young give it up generation need to stop. Go ahead. You better listen at what I'm telling you. Go ahead. It's a plot. It's a no. Am I right, brothers? Amen. It's an old street plot. Tell you everything you want to hear. Oh, yeah, come on. Girl, you sweet. I love you. Here he's 35, and here you about 19 or 20. Girl, you, wow, you know, you got a nice rack. Hanging on a nice back. Wow, you put together pretty sweet, and you. You young girls, you young single girls, you ain't married. Mm -hmm. Don't you take money from no man. That's right. I don't hear nothing about they your best friend. That's right. That's right. If you forget money to take to work to buy lunch, right. if you can't reach your parents, fast. But don't take money from no man. Amen. You may regret it. That's right. That's right. But we become naive. Oh, he's like a brother to me. He know he ain't your brother. That's right. He got beans in him. Jumping beans. Moving. That's right. Them beans is moving. That's right. So you're young and naive. There's a quote in the street, you're young and dumb and full of, I won't finish it. <laughs> but we know the last part, don't we, brothers? Yeah. <laughs> and what you're full of is what they're after. They're after. after. Hmm? They know you're young and dumb and you're full of something. What you're full of, that's what they're after. That's right. Because they know it better than you. That's right. That's right, sir. Pray upon you like a buzzard. Amen. You just another piece of meat. That's right. That's right. And you viewers get upset with me. Oh, that man is so vulgar. It's derogatory for him to say those things. Oh, oh, turn them off. Turn them off. Turn them off, James. Oh my God, turn them off. That's right. All right, Henpeck, leave me on. Don't you touch that television. <laughs> this is the problem. The homes of America is in the pits. The churches don't do nothing but sell cake and sell pies. That's right. That's it. Pound cake and sweet potato pies. These churches ain't teaching nothing. Amen. Absolutely nothing. Sitting around eating collard green chicken and potato salad. That's right. Getting fat with Jesus. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Ain't got no knowledge of God. Just sitting around greasy. Greasy. Blessed quietness. Holy quietness. Just eating. Get some knowledge in you. That's right. Oh, Lord, Lord. Why well, you listen to the old man? Today's family is a family entitled. They got a father because he laid with some woman. That's it. 
That's it. But they ain't got a father as an instructor. No. Many of you watching me, you and your wife separated. All right. Mm -hmm. I don't stop you from being a father to those kids. That's right. Even if your wife divorced you. Mm -hmm. If you and your wife divorced, you're still obligated, you're obligated. to teach those kids. That's right. You don't teach those kids, you are infidel. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Amen. Worse than infidel. Worse than infidel. Worse. My young teenage girls, how do you expect for someone to respect you? You got on your low riding jeans. Yeah. The beginning of your behind is showing. Showing. I've been making so plain, you can't get it mixed up. That's right. Low riding jeans. Even a dog got a tail to hide his private parts. That's right. That's right. You don't want to hide yours. You want your jeans hanging down and where your tail begins, you want that exposed and get a thumb raised above the pants. And then put a tattoo over that. Right over. Mm. And your parents let you do it. You get a woman with a body fully covered, step inside of a club, fully covered. Head on, long dress, dress modest. Acting like a lady. Security! Ain't nobody gonna come to her. No. Come on, come on, baby. No. Anybody, nobody gonna do that. Not, not like that. David's at the bar drinking, looking at you. Hey, check and see if she got a bomb under them clothes. <laughs> do you understand? <laughs> but when you come out half naked, and the mothers today are almost as, as naked as their daughters. You come out half naked, mini skirts and all that stuff splits from your ankle all the way to your thigh and back all out. Your daughters look like prostitutes and whores. Young girls don't even know how to sit. One leg east, one leg west. So that's old home teaching, teaching young women how to sit. Yeah. Not one leg east and one leg west, right? And you sitting there in front of a bunch of men. That's right. mm -hmm. No self-respect. And they think something wrong with this teaching. The mothers is to teach the young girl how to be clean. That's right. Clean. Not just the body, but also the mind and how to talk clean. That's right. That's right. <laughs> no, you want to go to a wild, crazy party with your friends. Parents teach you right, and you want to sneak off the parties. And then someone there may hate you, put something in your drink. And you now abnormal for the rest of your life. Amen. Because you are too arrogant and too stubborn to listen. That's right. You know we don't go to party. That's right. Then don't try to sneak the one. You may cuss the day you born. Amen. Your so-called friends will put something in your drink. I turn you out. And then a bunch of boys run a train on you. That's right. You don't know what happened. That's right. That's right. Talk to me. Amen. Amen. That's right. This is holiness. That's right. Holiness. Having a good down to earth family chat. Amen. The homes of America and the homes of the world. They're in the condition that they're in because of the overall universal rejection of God. That's right. You need to repent of your sins. Who, everybody? Be baptized in water. In the name of Jesus Christ. You need God in you. And the 
teaching of God upon you. That's right.